In this video, I'm gonna be going through the Blue Orpington chicken breed and everything you need to know. And stay tuned till the end because I will get into the egg laying department and how to breed your own Blue Orpington. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So are you in search of a gorgeous Blue Orpington chicken breed? Well, with its pulchritudinous blue feathers, docile disposition, and excellent maternal instincts, the Blue Orpington can easily top the list of hatchery favorites. If you're planning to add this breed to your flock, have you ever wondered if it's the right Right one for you. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and help you make that decision, but here's a little flashback on the history of these fantastic birds. So, did you know that Orpington chickens were developed in late 1886 when the chicken fever in Great Britain was slowly dying down? Its name was derived from the hometown of William Cook, the coachman who was behind the development of this breed. The first breed was created by crossbreeding the Black Plymouth Rock and Menorca, which created the Black Orpington. Then its offspring were also bred with clean-legged Langshans, which came from China. Cook practically made this breed to produce a good layer of egg and meat for good table fare. He also developed the Black Orpington breed because he wanted a chicken that didn't show dirt and soot. But he's gone through different mixing of the original Orpington with other breeds like Hamburgs and Dorkings before successfully creating the beautiful variations we know today, including the blue and lavender Orpington. This blue Orpington was a product of a black and white variety in the year of 1973. His unorthodox method brought him lots of criticism before, but thanks to him and such a method, we've come to learn about this beautiful breed of chicken. All Cook's Orpington creations became famous in England, but the blue Orpington didn't have much popularity until Andalusian gene was added to improve the breed. And later it gained fame in America when it was exhibited in Madison Square Garden. In 1902, the American Poultry Association officially admitted this breed and became the chicken keeper's favorite. Now let's get into the appearance and standard. Blue Orpington chicken is among the famous varieties of Orpingtons. It's as beautiful as its lavender and buff colored counterparts. This variety remained rare in every poultry industry up to this day. It appears to have a bluish gray color, sometimes slate blue with dark purple, and has thick and broad feathers that could cover its leg up to its feet. This feather gives them protection by keeping them warm when the winter season comes. They have short legs and compact heads that make them look heavy and short, making them unable to fly. The wings and tail are somewhat short or small, which is covered by a thick feather. Its body is broad and can form a heart shape when viewed from the side. It also has a broad and well-rounded breast, a strong beak, and large and bold eyes. The American Poultry Association and Poultry Club of Great Britain recognizes the four standard colors, black, blue, white, and buff. However, it comes in two different sizes, the regular and the bantam. The rooster or Pennington weighs up to about 10 pounds while the hen is 8 pounds. Now let's get into the science behind Blue Orpington's blue feathering. The color blue is genetically produced by breeding chickens with different colors, specifically black and splash colors. Based on Mendel's law of inheritance, every offspring receives a gene from each parent. In terms of blue coloring, it can be created by combining black and splash chicken parents. Black is the dominant gene while splash is the recessive one. Their offspring will receive a gene from each parent and they usually come out 100% blue. But breeding two blue Orpington's chickens doesn't have the same result. In this case, 50% of their offspring will likely be blue and 25% will be black while 25 will be splash colored. That's how blue poultry genetics work. Breeding blues with each other won't hatch out to be 100% blue. The same thing happens with blue laced varieties and blue ducks. If you breed a blue and splash chicken, the offspring will be 50% blue and 50% splash. But if you combine black and blue, their chicks will likely be 50% black and 50% blue. On the other hand, breeding splash chickens together can give you 100% splash chicks, while combining two black Orpingtons can produce 100% black offsprings. But have you ever wondered why not all blue Orpingtons are exactly the same? Well, blue is a dilute color due to the black and splash combination. That's why the blue coloring varies in each chick. Some blues are light colored, while others are dark, sometimes dark enough to be mistaken as black chicks. Now let's talk about this genetic combination chart. But before I do, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and also subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, to sum it up, here's a chart that will show you how you can get a blue feathered Orpington chicken. Let's go through these combinations and offspring to color. So a black chicken plus a blue chicken equals 50% black and 50% blue chicks. Splash chicken plus black chicken equals 100% blue chicks. A black chicken with a black chicken will also produce 100% black chicks. A blue 
chicken with a splash chicken. This will produce 50% blue and 50% splash chicks. And then a splash chicken with a splash chicken will also produce 100% splash chicks. And lastly, that blue rooster combined with a blue hen will not breed 100% blue. It will breed 50% blue, 25% black, and 25% splash chicks. All right, now let's get into the egg laying and disposition. These blue Orpingtons have excellent egg laying capabilities since they can produce at least 200 eggs per year. But others can give you as much as 280 eggs in a year. It's also among the best table birds because it's already table ready at just 22 weeks old. Therefore, you can save a considerable feeding and housing costs. Orpington chickens are also broody and they possess excellent maternal instincts. They even go as far as helping other chickens by hatching their eggs. On top of that, they possess a friendly and docile disposition, making them a top choice for many. These sweet birds also find joy in cuddling with their owners. And the Orpington roosters are reliable protectors who even guard the nest when the brooding hen is out to have a break. Now let's talk about some possible health issues. Overall, really, blue Orpingtons are generally healthy, but they are prone to lice and mites because of their dense feathering. So you'll need to check their plumage and skin regularly should you decide to get an Orpington for yourself. This way you can save your beloved feathery friend from parasite infestation. It's also prone to obesity due to heavy feeding and its rapid growth rate. So you have to ensure that it can get the exercise it needs to decrease the risk of diabetes. It would be best to consult a vet to get them inspected for signs of bumblefoot, spraddle leg, and impacted crop and prevent these conditions occurrence. So is this the right breed for you? If you want a prolific egg layer, a docile breed, an excellent table bird, the blue Orpington is the right breed for you. Not to mention its eye-pleasing blue plumage and unique feathering pattern. It has everything you could ever need. So if you want to go with a beautiful bird that doesn't require you to sacrifice the egg production and meat quality, the Blue Orpingtons would be a great chicken for you. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.